Hi YouTube! So, <laughs> this is not a crafting video. This is, I guess, a review. So, my husband went to the store. Oh, let me fix this. <laughs> Alright. So, my husband went to the store and he brought me two magazines because I was talking about those. I saw them somewhere and then, um, I think it was on Instagram or something, and then I told him, hey, I would like to check those out. And he's so thoughtful. He um, got them for me. However, I thought maybe you guys want to see because I was very excited to see what this is about. And I'm sorry about my fingers. They are like full of ink because I stamped something. So this is the magazine. It's simply cards and paper craft. This is how it looks like. You can get it at um, Barnes & Noble's and Joann's. I don't know where else, but it's U.S. So this is in, from England, if I understand correctly. I think so. However, this cost um, $12.99 in America. So it's $13, you can say. And it comes with this free stuff. You know, they advertise this. Like everything has, or each magazine would have freebies, like worth six bucks or something like that. I don't know. However, um, this is the free stuff. So they have stamps and they have this die. So I went ahead and I tried it out so you can see right away what it is about. So, first of all, I do not own a block as big as this one. So, the teapot is bigger than any of my blocks. So, all I could do is just take the whole thing and try to stamp it. I understand that it's my fault <laughs> that it didn't turn out that good. <laughs> but this is what I got. So, kind of. It says you are my cup of tea because the stamp was right there and I just took the whole piece. So, but all in all, I was not impressed with them, I must say, because I stamped them first. I filed them. No, I stamped them and they turned out really bad, really bad. Then I went ahead and I filed them because that's what you do if they turn out bad. But it didn't really improve everything. So this is what they stamped. And those words are all together in one. As you can see, I did this after filing and it's still bad. So I filed again, but it's still not a hundred percent. So if I would have gotten them at, in a store, I, I would bring them back because I don't like it. And even the stamps for a dollar from my wish app are better in stamping. So I don't know. The images are cute, but I really don't like the quality that much. So, the magazine is very expensive, so you know, you expect something, I guess, or is it just me? So, except for the stamps, they have this one die, and I cut it out, and it's like a teacup. So, I did cut pretty good, I don't see any problems with that. So, it's a little teacup, but it also cut the flower out of here and when I was picking it up I, I lost the flower. I have no idea where the little flower went. I wish it would, you know, just, I don't know, stay connected or something because the flower disappeared right away. It's just a little tiny piece right here. But I wanted to show you this before I show you what's inside of the magazine. So you can just, I don't know, just in case you were wondering or you know, wanted to buy it because they always in a bag, so you can't just look through them, you know. So let me see if I can zoom it out a little bit. So now you're gonna see the feet, but I cannot change this because if I zoom you in too much, you don't see the feet anymore, but you won't see the magazine either. So it's like, I don't know, it's about cards. I looked through it and it shows you how to make cards. So, it started out all right. I mean, it shows you some products you can get, of course, which is not very interesting for me because those are 
like, from England, so I don't know. You know, when I go to Michael's, I can't get those, <laughs> so they are not very interesting. Maybe I could order them, but I'm not about that. I don't want to order stuff. I just want to make stuff. Then, so this is the best of it, in my opinion. They show you how to make cards with the die and the stamps they attach to the magazine. So they will just tell you what to do. Even though, like, the flowers are a stamp and then there is a die cut, you know, you will have to, like, do it kind of yourself. But they describe everything, what you have to do, like the size of a card and just everything. So they do that on two pages and then they start telling you how to make stuff. And this is something, I don't know, <laughs> you know, they show you things. But a lot of them have like, this one, oh no, this one is from the people who made cards with the previous magazines. So this is it. But here, for example, they show you cards you can make, but then they write down what you need. And then there are always the sets you need to buy. You know, like, you need this certain stamp set or die set. I mean, I thought because it's simply <laughs> cards and paper crafts I thought it's gonna be more simple or is it just me you know I figured that they would show you things to make without all this kits and stamp sets you have to get <laughs> you know this one is cool I like this page because they show you what you can do, like little DIYs, and you don't really need extra stuff, you know. Well, you will need a jar or something, but that's all right. It's not like you have to buy a special um, stamp set or anything. So they show you how to make like this little candle. It's just, you know, doing something with pearls. They have like a pearl butterfly and a jar. So they show you that. And on this page also, it's all about pearls. And you can just do it yourself. You don't need like a kit for that, which I like. Because I'm not going to buy all the kits. And this was, I don't know, those are subscribers, I guess, from the magazine. They sent in pictures. And they picked a winner. So that's okay, but it doesn't help me with crafting, you know. <laughs> it just shows me some pictures, but all of them are like, you see, you need a set to make it. So, and this is just advertisement, advertisement, and now you can win this and that. So it's useless for me for crafting and then they start with cards again and all of them really all of them on the next I don't know how many pages want you to get something for it so there is not even one which says okay you don't have to use something you have to go and buy you know so they are all made with special stamp sets so maybe it's just me because I didn't expect this I mean some of it you can try do yourself without any sets so I would just go ahead and print any B for this one you know and just take it like I don't know kind of inspiration to do something but I can do this on Pinterest like there are so many pictures I thought that this will teach me something, you know, little tips and tricks, like basics about card making, but it really isn't. I mean, for somebody who owns all this stuff, yeah, it would be interesting, I guess, but I do not own nothing. <laughs> so, none of it. So they have all these different cards they would show you, but... I don't know if I can make any 
you know. So then it begins with another collection. And again, there is nothing I can make in this, you know. It doesn't show me anything like what I can make with normal things. I can make a house, so I would have to buy like a set, you know. <laughs> All the houses, it's just useless for me. I'm sorry to say that. I was disappointed, I must say. So I didn't open the second one yet, but this one kind of disappointed me because I was expecting something different. I don't want to, you know, like, or they tell you to use a set from like the same magazine, but issue, I don't know, 10 issues ago. So for somebody who just started, it's just like, Oh, <laughs> I can do this. And then they show all the pretty flower cards. But again, you need an English dye for that. So they produce it in England. Which, I don't know. It's just not the best, in my opinion. I guess you could recreate something like that if you have, like, some stuff laying around. But it's going to be hard. So, it's not like it's called simply, so it's not simply or simple. Yeah, for people, maybe, you know, like <laughs> storage. Well, they showed me how to make it, but only if I did buy the kit. So, this is the only disappointing thing to me, because I would like to see how to make something from scratch without using dies and stamps and kits which you have to order you know so because I'm not selling cards so I'm not making a hundred cards like hundred same cards this is for people who does that um, you know then you can go ahead and buy a stamp set and dies and everything like and spend money real money if you know you're gonna use it a thousand times. <laughs> I don't know if I would use it more than two times, you know? <laughs> so, so then there's Mother's Day cards. I'm not sure, I might try one or two things from here, even though I don't have any sets. Those look like you could recreate it with a different product. So, like this gift card holder, you know, and a card here, maybe possible. And yeah, there's more advertisement. This one you can only create if you have the stamp set from a previous one. So what does it say? Oh, or you can buy it or you can use it like Yeah, so they also sell the Creative Stamping Magazine. <laughs> so you would have to buy that magazine and pay, I don't know, 12 bucks or 14 bucks. And then you can make a card from this magazine. <laughs> I mean, I understand. It's business. People make money. But I don't know. It's just so disappointing to me. I don't know. So most of it I cannot make. And then there is advertisement, you know. So, I don't need that either. I mean, if you put that much advertisement in a magazine, maybe it should be cheaper. <laughs> I don't know. So, I might be able to recreate something like that with a printed picture. But, you know, it just... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not very impressed. I'm still hoping that the other one, <laughs> the other magazine, will be better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really hoping. So, let me see, something, I think I, I missed it, I need to show you something else. Yeah, and then it just shows what's in another magazine, and it ends, but I missed something, I need to show you that, because that upset me, <laughs> it really did. I bought this magazine today, right, and it's April 6th. So I bought it, and it says right here, I will read it, let me turn it, 
don't miss out download this adorable digistamps from this site hurry though this stamps only available until March 23rd it's April 6th and I just got it and they were selling this this was the newest one they were selling so it's like two weeks ago was the deadline <laughs> for the stamps you know <laughs> so that upset me it really did I mean if I buy a magazine I want to be able to use everything and I can't because you know the deadline <laughs> was two weeks ago <laughs> so yeah yes so I would say I don't know I would only buy this one again if they would have like a stamp set I would die for <laughs> you know I would not buy it for the magazine itself anymore like it did not impress me it did not help me at all I in my opinion I can make a better card with my stuff no maybe I'm, I'm saying it wrong so I can't afford all of this stuff and I don't wanna you know so in my opinion I can make cards with stuff I got so I'd rather do that but I mean if you got more stuff or if you liked something sure go ahead I'm not saying it's bad it's just bad for me so you know it doesn't make sense for me because this is not what I'm making this is not how I work and yeah like I said I was not very impressed with that I tried to make it better but hmm, I don't know so yeah I hope you liked the review I just wanted to share with you I don't know in the, at the moment anyways anything I'm doing or buying or you know thinking about when it comes to crafting or something I always think oh I gotta make a video about it I don't know I'm sharing I guess it's my new passion <laughs> making videos <laughs> you know for you guys or maybe for me in 30 years I will look at myself and see what I was crafting you know maybe in 30 years I will be a pro and then I look back and I will think oh my god what were you doing <laughs> so that would be funny yeah you decide for yourself if you liked it or if you want to get it like I said they have it at Joanne I know that and at Barnes & Nobles I don't know maybe Michael's I don't know where else you can order it from online also so yeah I would say that was it <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore well as always follow me on Facebook and Instagram give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video if you want like see reviews once in a while I'm not gonna go out there and get stuff just to make reviews nobody wants to see right <laughs> so <laughs> if I get something for myself sure I can review it whatever but <laughs> you know I'm not gonna run out if somebody can't afford something but really wants to see what it is all about and I can afford it I could do a review on that too but I'm not gonna spend like <laughs> a bunch of money you know if it's a magazine it's all right I guess <laughs> you know I have a budget right <laughs> so yeah however <sighs> I hope you liked it and I see you for my next video probably another review on the second magazine so you have a great day bye bye